All right, so here is a, a dream box that I want to go over. And here we can see it says n plus 0 0.6. Now, sometimes we forget, but when we have two things, so here's one, and let's grab another color. Here's another. It's kind of like base times height. So let's have this one be n plus 0. All right, so this blue line is representing n plus 0. All right, so we're not going to do anything to it. Now this pink one, we are going to add to it, right? Because this is the length of n, just like our algebra tiles. Now we need even more. So that's what these buttons are done here for. So let's go ahead and go to clicker. One, two, two, three, four, five, and six. How do I know where to go? Right here, it says 0 0.6. This is 0 0.6. So now, this entire length is n plus 0 0.6. All right, we'll double check that. Absolutely. All right, so now what it's asking, right? Let me go ahead and remove this piece of information. It is asking a couple of different things, starting with what is the area of each shape? So here, we know that this is 0 0.6, and then the width of it is n. So that makes this many n. Notice the top one is n squared, and we only have one of those. Now, if this also had a number, which currently it doesn't, we would then have a zero. So how does that get put in here? Well, we have one n squared. We have 0 0.6 n, and we have no other numbers. We're adding these together to find our total area. Wonderful. All right, so one of the things I do want to show you is how this can happen in two ways. Um, it didn't matter which one I chose. I can either choose to add three going down, or I can choose to add three going over. Because again, this is n plus zero, and this is n plus zero three. We're look at my areas. I have 1n squared plus 0.3n and no other numbers. Wonderful. All right, thank you.